Hello Rail fans, and welcome to French Ride Trains. Today, we're going to be building the Santa Fe SD75M freight locomotive. And this is what it looks like here. So let's get right into the build here. So as usual, we're going to start off with the rear coupler, so take out a dark oak stair and attach it up. Under it, we're going to put a sideways dark oak bed scape. Then, on the next block forward on the bottom middle, three polish andesite blocks in the center. Then we're going to put an upside down polish andesite stair facing outward on either side. Above it, we're going to do five polish andesite blocks. Then we'll come in front of it in the middle and do a three block tall T-shape of polish andesite. And we're going to put a lever on either side of this second layer. In front of that, we're going to do a five by three of polish andesite coming out to each side of the tracks. Then on this side gap, we're going to put three oak slabs for stairs. And then three over on this side. Then back here, on this top middle, three red nether brick slabs in the center. Then come down here, and we're going to open a dark oak bed skate above each rail. Then we're going to put two lightning rods here, and two over here. Then on this top middle three, we're going to put two oak fence gates and a skeleton skull. Now come in front of this on bottom and put a dark oak vent skate on each rail right in front of it. In front of that in the center, we're going to do a black stone brick block and a slab, then a vent skate in the middle, then a black stone brick block and a slab, another vent skate, and then a block and a slab. Then take out another right for the wheels, put one here, here, and here, and same thing on the opposite side. Then we're going to put a fence gate here and here on each front corner. Then we're going to grab a lightning rod and in the gaps between the wheels we're going to put two sideways lightning rods on all four of these spaces. Then we'll go through and put a hopper on the side of all six wheels here. Then we're going to crouch and we're going to put a wither skeleton skull on the side of all three hoppers. And then we'll come to the opposite side and do the same thing, but with our skeleton skull on all three of these hoppers. And then once we have that, we're going to grab polish andesite block again here. And on this top middle, we're going to start here and bring a line forward up the center to the front of this. On the side of it, a full row of birch fence gates up here. And then same thing on this side, a full row of birch fence gates over here as well. Then we'll go back to polish andesite block, and we're going to come in front of this on bottom. And we're going to go three wide with polish andesite, and start bringing that forward for the bottom of the fuel tank. And that's going to be 16 blocks long in total. One six. So a three by 16 of polish andesite. Then on the side of it, we're going to put a full row of upside down outward facing polish andesite stairs. And then same thing on this side, a full row of upside down stairs on this side of it as well. Then we'll come up on this top layer with polish andesite block again, start at the back and we're going to fill the top middle three up here with polish andesite as well and bring that all the way up to the front of this field tank. In front of this we'll do the front truck so come on bottom, right in front of it here, and put a fence gate on each rail. In front of that, another wheel on each rail, and in the center we're going to do a black stone brick block and a slab, then a fence gate, then a black stone brick block and a slab, then a fence gate, and then one more block and slab. Then take out another right for the wheels again, and get another wheel here and here, and same thing on this side. Then put a fence gate on each of these two front corners. Then same as before, in the gaps between the wheels, we're going to put two sideways lightning rods on all four of these spaces. Then, we're going to go through and put a hopper on the side of all six front wheels. And then we'll crouch and put a wither skeleton skull on the side of each hopper. And then same thing over here, 
get one on all three of these hoppers. Then we'll grab polish anisite block again, come up here on the top middle, and do a line up the center to the front of this. Then on this side at the front of the fuel tank, put one block here with a bell on the side. In front of it, do a full row of birch vent skates to the front here. Then on this side, just a full row of birch vent skates here. Now come right in front of this with polish and side block, and we're going to do a 5x3 coming out to each side of the tracks. In front of that, a 3 block tall T shape in the center. Then put a torch on either side of this second layer. In front of this on the bottom middle, three forward facing polish and side stairs, and then an upside down stair facing outward on each side of it. On the next layer, we do a block in the middle, two upside down stairs facing forward on either side. Then take a dark oak stair for the front coupler, turn around and stack it up to this middle second block here. Under it, a dark oak fence gate, and then open a fence gate above each rail. Then we're gonna put two sideways lightning rods here, and two over here. Then we're gonna grab an oak slab and put three on this side for stairs, and three on the gap on this side. On this top middle, three red nether brick slabs. Then two birch fence gates up here, and a skeleton skull. Then we're gonna come around behind this bell here, and on the front of the fuel tank on each side, we're gonna put a skeleton skull here, and here, then behind it, a mangrove sign on each side. Then behind that, a mangrove button on each side. Then we're gonna do three sideways birch fence gates on each side. Behind that, we're gonna do a full row of sideways anvils to the back of this fuel tank. And a full row of anvils on this side as well for the air tanks. Then we're gonna come back here and crouch. And we're gonna put a brewing stand on the back of each of these anvils. Then while still up here crouching, we're going to put a stone brick slab on top of all six of these hoppers back here. Then move a hitbox down and we're going to put two slabs on all four of these spaces between the wheels. Then we'll come on the side and above the back wheel and the middle wheel we're going to put a skeleton skull on each side. Then come back up here and crouch, and we're going to put a sideways end rod here and here. Then one here and one here. Then we'll do the front truck. So come up here, and we're going to crouch up here. And we're going to put a single stone brick slab on top of all six of these hoppers. Then move a hitbox down in the space between, and put two slabs on all four of these spaces. Then up here we put a skeleton skull above the front wheel and the middle wheel on each side. Then we'll come up here and crouch and put a sideways end rod here and here. And then one here and one here. Then on this third layer up we're going to start at one end with polish and a side block. And we're going to fill it three wide on the middle and we're going to bring that all the way down to the other end of the locomotive.
on the bottom of this side, we're going to do six red concrete coming back. And another row of six on top of it. On the back of this here, we're going to put two ladders here. Then come on bottom right here, put a ladder here, skip a block and two ladders. Then on the top of this at the front, we're going to do a single red concrete, then three yellow concrete, then a mangrove door here, turn this way, and a backward facing door here. Then three black stained glass panes on top of the yellow concrete. This side is slightly different. On the bottom of this side, we're going to do two red shulker boxes, red concrete, shulker box, red concrete. Then five red concrete above it. Then a red concrete at each end, three yellow concrete in the middle. Then a red concrete at the back of the top, and three black stained glass panes on the side. Across here, two black stained glass blocks, a red concrete in the middle, two stained glass blocks. Then a white stained glass pane on either side of this for the mirrors. Then on the top middle three, we're going to go three wide with red concrete, and bring that to the back of the cab here. And on the outer edge, we'll put five outward facing red nether brick stairs on the top of each side of the cap. Then we're going to come behind this on bottom with red concrete, one block in from the outer entrance and get one here and here. And then we're going to come all the way down this side with red concrete. And on this third block from the end of the back, we're going to come three across the back here. And then we'll come back up the bottom of this side with red concrete. Until it all meets up here. Just like that. Now right behind the cab we're going to do a column of red concrete on either side and come across the top. Behind that on the bottom of each side we'll do three light gray concrete coming back here and then on this side. Above that we'll do three red concrete on each side. In the middle we're going to put three netherite blocks and on the center of it we're going to put an anvil. Then crouch on the upper hitbox and put a polished deep slate slab on either side of this anvil. And then on each side of this we're going to put three iron bars. Then on top up here we'll do three red concrete across here. Then another right in the middle, red concrete on either side of it. Across here three light gray concrete. Then on the netherite put an oak trapdoor and surround it with four iron trapdoors. Then we're going to come behind this and do a three by three of light gray concrete on either side. Then we're going to put three deep slate tile walls on the top of each side. And then we need to grab polished andesite slabs. And on top of this, do a three by three of polished andesite slabs up here. So it looks like this for all the vents up here. Then we're going to take out red shulker boxes there's this little raised piece in this corner and down here on the bottom behind the cab we're gonna put four red shulker boxes down here and make sure they're all facing the same way now come down on top of the back here and right here we're gonna do a three by four of light gray concrete coming up then we'll come up in front of it we're going to do two layers of light gray concrete coming all the way forward up the side of the locomotive. All the way up to the front here. And then we'll do the same thing on this side. Do two layers of light gray concrete on this side as well. And bring that all the way up to the front. Then we're going to come on top of the back on the next layer up in the middle. And we're going to do a line of 11 bedrock blocks coming forward. another 11 on top of that. Then we'll start at the back and we're going to do two rows of five iron bars back here, then a column of two light gray concrete, and then another two rows of five iron bars. And we're going to copy that pattern exactly across, so two rows of five iron bars at the front, two light gray concrete in the middle, and then two rows of iron bars here. Then come in front of this, and we'll do two layers of light gray concrete on the top of each side and fill this whole side in back to this bedrock. And then we'll also fill this whole top middle with light gray concrete, just like that.
then come on top of the back where these columns of light gray concrete are, do a plus shape of polished andesite slabs, skip back one in another plus shape, skip forward one in another plus shape. Put an oak trap door in the center of all three of these fans. Then right here, we're gonna change these two blocks to deep slate tile walls. On this side, we're gonna come over here. We're gonna change this block to a polished andesite stair. And we're gonna close a jungle trap door above it. Then we're gonna come up here in the middle Put a birch fence gate here, then open a fence gate in front of it. Then up behind these slabs, we're going to change this center block to a cauldron and surround it with a C-shape of iron trap doors for the exhaust. Then come down right here, and we're going to do a full line of light gray carpet down this walkway, right to the back here. Then a T-shape of carpet on the back porch. Then we're going to start right here, and we're going to come up till we're right before the frontmost back wheel here. Then up here we do a line of slabs. I put polished andesite here, but they're supposed to be red nether brick slabs, so make this a line of red nether brick slabs. And we're gonna grab a light gray stained glass pane. And right here we're gonna do a three by three of stained glass panes here. Then in front of this, we're gonna get some light gray carpet on top of these four shulker boxes here. Then we'll come up front and do a T-shape of light gray carpet on the front porch. Then on top of this nose, we're going to cover it in red carpet. Then we're going to come on top of the cab on the back middle and put two levers going into each other back here. And then we're going to cover the rest of the cab up here with red carpet. Just go around the levers and then here and here. Behind this, put a light gray carpet here and here. Then start back here and start covering the rest of this roof anywhere we haven't built something with light gray carpet. Making sure we get down and around and in between all these fans back here. And then come down and around the back as well. Then we're gonna do our railings to take out an oak fence. Right here on the back, come up by four. Then right here, we're gonna come up three over one and then a two by two right here. Copy it on this side, so right here come up four. Right here we're gonna come up three over one and a two by two right here. Then we need to grab a chain here and we're gonna put a chain across the top of this gap. We're gonna repeat that process on the front end, so come up here. Right here we're gonna do four oak fences. Here come up three over one then a two by two right here. Same thing on this side, so come up four right here. Here we're gonna come up three over one and a two by two right here. And then we'll do a chain across this gap here. Then we're gonna come to the back and switch to birch fences here since we don't have gray. And connect the fence up here and we're gonna come straight forward across this. right here we're gonna come up one and then forward until you're behind the cab like that then we'll do this side so come to the back down here connect a birch fence up right here and start bringing it forward up this side of the locomotive then right here we're gonna come up two and then forward one then we're gonna come in and we're gonna grab a red banner and we're gonna put two red banners over this door on the side so it gets hidden on the side view here. Now we're gonna make some banners to come into a loom with a light gray banner and red dye. We're gonna put this diagonal, then a horizontal on top and bottom, new banner. A vertical on the left, horizontal on top, vertical on the right, horizontal in the middle, new banner. A vertical on the left and right, and then a diagonal. New banner. Vertical in the center. Horizontal on top. New banner. Vertical on the left. Horizontal on top and middle. New banner. Vertical on the left. Horizontal on the middle, the top, and the bottom. Then grab a light gray die and we're going to put a light gray border on every single one of these lighter banners. these 
this on the side. So we're gonna come over right in front of these stained glass panes here on this level and use your banners to spell out Santa Fe with a gap of space between the words. Then come to this side and start on the third block out from these iron bars and use the banners on this side to spell out Santa Fe. Just like that. Now we're actually gonna edit this red concrete a bit. We're gonna change this block to red concrete and then up here, change these two to red concrete. And then this one up here, red concrete. And we need to repeat it on the other side. Put a red concrete up here. Change these two behind the stained glass panes to red. And then this one down here. And then we can go ahead and change these two stained glass panes to red stained glass panes. Then put a red carpet here and here. And now we have to make some more banners here for the pinstriping. So we're gonna come back into a loom with a light gray banner and red dye and yellow dye. We're gonna put a yellow vertical on the right, then a horizontal on top. Then we make the bottom half red. I was forgetting how to make the banner here, but make the bottom half red. Then put a yellow horizontal on the middle so it looks like this. Then we'll do a light gray banner yellow dye again. This time a vertical on the left and a horizontal on top. Make the bottom half red and then a yellow horizontal on the center. So we have two of the same banners facing the opposite way. And we're gonna come up in here. This one goes in this corner like that. The opposite one goes in that corner on the other side. You'll have to take out this carpet. Then knock out the carpet behind it as well here. Then we can clear those two and we have some more banners to make. So we'll come back into a loom with a light gray banner and red dye. Make the bottom half red. Then put a yellow horizontal on the middle. Then a new banner and we're gonna make the bottom half red again and we're going to put a yellow horizontal on the top and on the middle and then we'll come place these ones the one with two yellow stripes we're going to put two of them right here and behind it switch to the one with only one yellow stripe and we're going to bring it all the way back on this level skip this one here put three across the back and then we'll start coming up this side with it here in this corner we put the one with two yellow stripes right there and now the pin striping is almost done here we're gonna have one more banner to make so come back into a loom light gray banner and yellow dye and we're just gonna put a vertical on the right hand side and then this one with the vertical on it goes right here we can't put one on the other side because of the stained glass panes where that blower is. So that's all the banner work. Now we're gonna come up front and we're gonna put a glow item frame on either of these two fences. And then we're gonna grab a frog light and put one on each item frame. Then come up on this top middle above the window and do a glow item frame with a frog light. Next to it, a dark oak sign with 200 and same thing on this side. Hit both signs with white dye and a glowing sack. Then we'll come detail the back end. Back here, we're gonna put a glow item frame with a frog light on either of these two fences. Then one on the middle with a frog light right here. Then next to it, a dark oak sign with 200 on either side. And then hit them both with white dye and a glowing sack. Then we're gonna put a birch fence gate here and here for the ladder. Next, we'll do the interior, so come inside here all the way down in this corner and we need an end portal we're gonna put an end portal in the corner then right here stack smooth sandstone slabs up to the window and same thing on this side behind that we're gonna stack our slabs up two blocks tall on the whole side here and same thing on this side over here then we'll 
take smooth sandstone stairs right here and make a staircase coming up. Then two slabs on this back metal. Back here, two blast furnaces in the center. Then a stair here and here for seats. Turn around and put a slab here and a here. Up here, a glow item frame with an end crystal. Then a lever over here for the engineer. And now the interior is done. And there we have it, folks. We've completed our Santa Fe SD75M locomotive. I hope everyone enjoyed the build. I know there was some trial and error in this one, and I apologize. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And everyone have a great week. Stay safe out there, Railfan.